Remembering the Swindon of yesteryear with the help of the Swindon Society, a glimpse of Swindon through the years. Well, shops continue to feature in our next collection of then and nows. One of the buildings we're about to show is that of the market here in Market Square behind me, a traditional location for buying goods in the town. The new tent style market calls to stir when it was first put up, the controversial building replacing the original brick built structure. In fact, it still causes debate. There are those that love the brave new style used by the 90s designers and those that hate the form that they believe represents ridicule in the town. Well, either way, it provides us with a dramatic comparison as we're about to see. With the help of the Swindon Society, we're stepping back in time to Swindon of yesteryear. A selection of images then and now from around the town. We start with a view of the Regent's Place Gospel Hall taken in 1968. The hall was demolished just two years later in 1970 when the area was redeveloped. In the background stands the Savoy Cinema. It provides a reference point as 31 years just fade away. The building has gone and the land used for parking cars. The huge building of the former Savoy Cinema is now only partially used as the Savoy Public House. It's Commercial Road and again the year is 1968. And once again, traffic is travelling in both directions along the road. The old market's in the background. 31 years later, the shops have gone and are now used for parking cars. There's another office block in the distance, and the old market has disappeared to be replaced by a new building with an unusual design. Here's a view looking down Curtis Street, taken in 1913. The Rolleston Arms is to the left, Franklin's Hardware Store is to the right. Today, some 86 years later, the view is certainly recognisable. A whole row of streetlights now line Curtis Street. The constant flow of traffic makes this another busy junction. the cutting crew of 1934 at Reeves & Co in Market Street. The building still survives today as the years roll by to 1999. Even today on the side of the building, the sign Reeves & Co can still be seen. Finally, a view of the old market back in 1968. Originally built as an open-air market, a roof was added in 1902. The whole lot was demolished in the 1970s and the site used as a car park. Our 1999 view certainly heralds a new millennium. A big top theme adopted for the new tented market. The buildings to the left still stand, offering a view up towards Deacon Street. Remembering the Swindon of yesteryear, with the help of the Swindon Society, a glimpse of Swindon through the years.